Hi there! In this lesson, you'll learn about default parameter values. Let's start with a program that prints out a happy birthday message. The happy birthday function takes in two parameters and returns a string that says happy birthday, name, what a great age, years, where name and age have the values that are passed into the function when it's called. So when we print the value of happy birthday to the console and pass in the values of Carol and 10, we get happy birthday, Carol, what a great 10 years, printed to the console. But what happens when we call the happy birthday function and don't pass in any arguments? When the computer gets to the function definition, it will find that there are no values for these variables. In JavaScript, parameters have a default value of undefined. So when we run this program, we'll see that instead of a name or an age, we get the literal word undefined. It says, happy birthday, undefined. What a great undefined years. This might lead to the question, can you set the default parameter values to something other than undefined? You sure can. You can add default values to parameters in the function definition. All you have to do is assign the parameter a value when you create the parameter. Here, we're assigning the default value of name to be friend, and the default value of age to be 15. So now when we call the happy birthday function without any arguments, it will use the default parameters of friend and 15. An important note, the default values will only be used if the function is called without any arguments. Any arguments that are used will override those default values. So now let's call the happy birthday function with the arguments of Carol and 10 again. Even though we have default values, the arguments we passed in override these values so that name is assigned the value of Carol and age is assigned the value of 10. What's printed to the console is, Happy Birthday, Carol! What a great 10 years! Another important note, when writing your function definition, you may decide that not every parameter needs a default value. That's totally fine. Not all parameters need a default value. When we don't give a parameter a default value, this is because it's common to call that function with that specific argument. While the order you list parameters doesn't technically matter, it's always best practice to list the parameters without default values first. By putting the age parameter first, we ensure that the, when the function is called, the argument passed in goes to the age parameter. One last important note about default values. Default values enable us to make our functions more error-proof. Let's go back to our happy birthday program one last time. We've added a line that adds one to the variable age so that we can add a line about the upcoming year. When we run this program without passing in any arguments, we get this printed to the console. What on earth is NAN? This stands for not a number. We get this value because we can't add one to the value of undefined. Undefined isn't a number, so JavaScript notes this error by assigning the value NAN, or not a number. We can fix this by assigning a default value to age. Let's say that we know most of Carol's friends are 10 years old, so we can make the default age 10. Now when we run the program without passing in any arguments, we get a message that makes way more sense. Now that you know all about default parameter values, it's time to check them out in the editor. In this example, we're going to call on three functions from the main function. So let's set those up now. The first one will be a function called print with no default, and we're not going to pass any argument to it, and it will have no default parameter attached to that function. The second one is print with default value, and this one also we're not going to pass any argument to the function, but it will have a default parameter assigned to it. And then the last one is print multiple parameters. This will, we will pass along one argument, the string Lucia, and also this function will have one default parameter assigned to it. So let's set up those three functions now. The first one again is print with no default. 
So we have a parameter called message, but we're not going to get any argument when we call that function. So what we should get, since it has no default parameter, is an undefined printed to the console. The second one is print with default value, and this one we will have the uh, parameter message with a default parameter of the string hi there. So we'll see what happens when no argument is passed to that function. The third function then is print multiple parameters, and this one has two parameters. It has name that has no default parameter to it, but then it also has message, and that parameter does have a default. It's the string greetings. So now let's see what happens when we run this code. So like we said, the first one we get undefined because we passed no argument and there was no default parameter. The second one prints hi there because we didn't pass an argument, therefore the function used the default parameter string hi there. And lastly, in our third function, it printed multiple parameters. It printed message first, and it used the default parameter greetings. But then it used the argument Lucia that was passed to the function for the parameter name. And then it printed greetings Lucia to the console. And now it's your turn to play around with this example in the editor.